The last couple of weeks, we spent exploring magnificent Puerto Rico and learning a bit of its history. And then after the holidays, we finished some much needed repairs on the boat and continued east toward St. Thomas. Almost two months into our journey, we've all finally got our sea legs, so we're able to focus and concentrate on schoolwork without getting nauseous, even as we're sailing. Told the kids an hour for a page front and back of electronics, yes. of gaming. Yeah. So kids, try this at home. We are barreling through their uh, math books. Almost done. Yeah, that's a good, a good bribe. What's your crisis? Oh, 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 oh zombies. Zombies. We have a zombie crisis. Why is it here attacking me? Zombie crisis. Uh oh, 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 oh. You must have done math. I don't know. I, I think you owe me a couple more pages Ooh. because uh, oh, come on. you've been working on zombies for several hours now. Not hours. Hey, I just got on it. Just accounting. We're on book seven through what, 10? 10. 10. Okay. And constitutional literacy. And what is this? Show the world what you're doing. Spelling. She's learning how to spell words. Cat. Hey, dog. It's senior level. It is spelling. senior level. Give me a word. Paroxysm. 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 Pecuniary. What the heck is a pecuniary? It's relating to financial matters. Ooh, you're so smart. His fins are so cute. Oh, oh my gosh, it's still alive. Oh. It's suffering. Oh, that's what happens, and then we kill it. We eat it. You know, sometimes <laughs> it lived a good life. They did got, it, Mom? Did they, it really? They got big and fat for us to eat. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry you lost your life today, Fishy. We got our bubble heads. Are they working nice? They are. Why are they so bendy? They're flex knives, so you can do just what I'm fixing to do right here. And then slice this finger off. Hold it real still. Yeah. I'm not a sushi girl. Some tuna. We have tuna. These are days you remember. Never before and never since. I promise. Tell me where we're at because this is really pretty. Where are we at? Jump into your thing. This is one of the saints. There you go, St. Thomas. Go in your room. St. Thomas. St. Thomas. It's is beautiful it warm sunset. in your room, or is it cold? And there's Jack's room. He'll be sleeping in his room tonight. Keith got up bright and early to fix this sail. Take it down, figure out what's wrong with it. And this scares me to death because my son is way there at the top. So what do you think? What's going on? We just took it down the sail to see what's in there. I had him go through the check because it feels like the, the furling mat, the furling shaft. Uh-huh. That runs up through the mast. Yeah. It's supposed to be bolted to something up there. And uh -huh. it's not. It's just flapping around up there at the top. Yeah. To keep it in the center of the deal. Yeah. Like but the it, bolt came out or something. Yeah, but okay. Jack says there's nothing up there. So maybe that donut that came off of it, when it's around the swivel, that's what keeps it centered up there. Huh. That's the only thing that keeps it centered is... Did you Google it? Yeah, I've Googled it. I've Googled it. Maybe you should Google some more. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> So, unfortunately, on the Zatara, 
we don't get up and relax and drink coffee and enjoy the sunrise. My husband gets up at 6 a.m. and starts figuring out what's needs, what needs to be fixed. And uh, so this morning he got up and started working on the sale, which is really loud. And so woke everybody up, which is actually good. We need to get up. We don't need to be sleeping so late. But we end up staying up a little later than we should. But if we went to bed when the sun went down, Man, look who it is. Look who it is. Did y'all fix it? No. Mm. I had to wake up at 6 o'clock to fix stuff. Uh, life of a sailor. I have my own engine. Some of those are poisonous. Uh, we did, that's why you're scared we feed in. Woo! No, but this is neat. We're learning about all this stuff underwater in our science, zoology, and uh, so we can identify some of the things that we're seeing. After a couple of beautiful days at Christmas Cove and finally fixing the mast issue, we moved on. We checked into the British Virgin Islands at Soper's Hole, stopped off in Tortola for a bit, and then continued on to Peter Island. So my crew has finally mastered the mooring ball. We tie two lines to the pennant, one on each side of the boat and it keeps us, the boat from sailing so much on the ball. A little more school work to be done and then it's time to play. Cleaning the bottom of the boat, I noticed up at the bow thruster where they insert the pod for the bow thruster, there's a plastic piece that goes in there and it's starting to crack and flex. And we're going to have to get that fixed when we get to St. Martin. I don't think it's a seaworthy issue, but it definitely needs to be fixed. Come on board. This is the, uh, it's the food boat. It's the dinner boat. Okay, so this was our first get together meal with friends. On our boat. On our boat. Jane and Good friend, Ronnie, Ronnie, Samantha, and Anna. And yeah. probably their last get together. They won't want anybody after us. That's right. <laughs> I yell her We're enough. not taking any of these derelicts <laughs> off the ocean anymore. Oh, this is good stuff. We good had stuff. the fish that Keith caught, Delicious. and Ronnie caught some salmon. And we ate and then, it. These cruisers, they just come motoring That's in right. here like 500 mile an hour. Have you lost weight since you've been doing this? Uh, no, I don't know. She's lost like 10 pounds. Yeah. yeah and I'm, lost I'm slimmer than I used to be. Yeah. He oh, is. Right he is. Hey, y'all probably see those ripped abs when I had my shirt off earlier. Don't y'all lost him. Scoot out. I didn't want to be a stumbling stone for anyone. Baby, you're a hottie. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Hottie. That's what you get. I can't do it. Because it's lady work. Oh my god. It is. You're my door opener. Yeah. And you don't sleep as much as you used to. You're up all the time, so your metabolism doesn't go on and go on and go on. So we had a great time with our friends. Even did some diving with them the next day. We was we was anchored on a ball right over a reef and it was a great place to dive. Unfortunately they had to go back to St. Thomas a few days later to drop off Anna and Samantha, but we will catch up with them in St. Martin in a week or so. We spent about 11 days cruising through the islands, stopping at some of the best tourist attractions in the area. We stopped off at Salt Island for our very first wreck dive. The unsinkable RMS Roan was a British Royal Mail ship and crashed into the rocks during a hurricane in October of 1867. 
Out of the 146 people on board, the only to survive were the crew of 23. We moored about 100 yards from the site, so once we finally arrived at the wreck, we only stayed for about 30 minutes. Jack and Anna still use quite a bit of air, but they're still new divers. We were at a depth of about 65 feet, and I think I had the wrong filter on. Still learning about taking good underwater video, so sorry the color is a little off. It's a little extra magenta. is a beach area on the island of Virgin Gorda and it was especially fun for the little kids as we all wound through caves and scenic grottos and we waded through tunnels and we climbed up onto giant granite boulders. It was a lot of fun. There were a lot of people here. It's, it's quite a tourist attraction but it was still a lot of fun. Ben, what do you think about the baths? I think you get lost here. You could get lost here, that's for sure. Are we waiting in a line? Yes. <laughs> Wally World, call me Sparky. Oh, I'm Sparky. Hey, Wally World. <laughs> oh, no time. It's tough. Uh, it's a tourist trap. Save me, save me from the tourist trap. Where's the rum? I need the rum. I don't know, the swim back to the dinghies. I need the rum. <laughs> it's kind of tough. <laughs> Bitter End Yacht Club is a really pretty place. There's a hotel and cute little condos but we stayed on a mooring ball in the beautiful bay. We of course did a little shopping and then Keith decided to rent Hobie Cats and do some fast sailing. All right, so we're fixing to go uh, Hobie Cat racing. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> gonna jump off. He's not gonna jump off. The first spreader. He's gonna chicken out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, or he'll slip and fall and bust his head. And head open like he did. No. Can't even Three! Two! Dive off there. Nice big swan dive. No, don't dive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, not to be outdone by my son, we decided to see if we could get a beluga whale up the mast. I don't think the winch is working anymore. <laughs> Just do it! Oh my gosh, they're videotaping. <laughs> After being up on the spreader, the guys decided it was a good time to get out the drone. It's been really windy, so we weren't confident getting it out. Keith hadn't used it in over a year, so here's a serious near fail. Oh my goodness. This was our last day in the BDIs. So join us next time as we head off through the Anagata Passage to St. Martin and the Lesser Antilles.